Hello everyone, welcome back to Have a Beer with Eric. This is review number 20 and uh, for today I have a German beer, an actual German beer. Um, you know these days I don't really see people drinking um, uh, imported beers that are still craft beer. Um, everybody that thinks craft beer is uh, everything's from the US or maybe from Belgium and um, maybe uh, one or two but um, Right now, I decided to do a German lager since I got my hand on a few of these for volunteering for an event last weekend. And so, uh, today we have the brewery is called ABK. It's short, the name's pretty long, the brewery. Um, it's in German, so I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. So, I'm just gonna, instead of butchering it, I'm just not gonna try. And um, so, this brewery has been around for over 700 years. Um, since 1308, so they're they've been very popular. Um, they've won a lot of of, of awards, including uh, World Beer Cups, um, or yeah. And um, this one is their Adele. It's a special beer. It's a premium lager beer. Um, the exact style is the export lager, which means that it's kind of like a pilsner, but instead has a bit more of a a uh, malty uh, like taste and um, it's it has like a dry finish and this should be a, a clean crisp so it says a uh, 700 years of Bavarian brewing tradition and heritage brewed traditionally using the only the finest barley malt hops and pure water um, they have a website this this bottle is a uh, 1.9 ounces um, Let's see, it says brewing according to Bavarian purity law, there's no description, um, there's no bottling date, there's only a batch code, which is just like uh, random letters, it's 5.8% and um, we'll try it out. So I've never actually heard about this brewery before this past weekend and it's pretty cool to have to see a brewery like this uh, at a beer fest. There you go. So it's a good amount of head. It's about, uh, let's say, three fingers. And um, there's a lot of carbonation going on here. It's as you can see, it's pretty clear. Um, the bottom of this glass has an etched image that allows for more carbonation to go up. So that helps a lot with the head retention. Um, on the nose, you get a lot of uh, uh, malts. You get uh, grain. It's pretty sweet, kind of like apples. It's mainly, um, it actually smells kind of like cider. It's very apple, apple. Uh, forward and according to their website they it is it's supposed to have kind of like a green apple aroma and a bit of the the apple taste along with uh, some floral hops yeah, it's this is a pretty sweet lager it's um I'm surprised it's not darker in color because usually darker the, the redder beers are the ones that are more sweet, but um, this one, yeah, I, I get I get apples on this as well. I don't really get any of the floral hops. I'm not sure how long this beer has been bottled, so maybe the hops might have died down already. And the since this beer was actually bottled in Germany, so it, it went through the entire import process. It wasn't brewed by like a uh, like a, a branch here in the U.S. and um, so it, maybe by the time that we that the beer reached the event, the who knows how long it's already been brewed, um, how long it's been bottled. But um, yeah, like I was saying, it's pretty cool to see a traditional German beer at a beer fest where you're surrounded by all local craft and maybe sometimes even not craft, but just um, 
like a bunch of IPAs, stouts, and porters, and um, all that. You see this little gem that's uh, just a, 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 a true to tra true to tradition German lager. It's, uh, it's not a German style; it's actually German. So, and um, yeah, just for, for and I mean for a brewery to be around for seven hundred years means that. Obviously, they're doing something right. Um, I've I looked up into their history. They they've been super popular. Right now, it is owned by the German government, and um, I believe in the town that they're located. That's the government that owns them, but they still uh, work as if they were in the private sector. But so they they are considered a a it would be considered a craft brewery, even though um, usually. European breweries, there you don't really question if they're craft or not, as long as they have, a, unless they're like a corporation like Heineken or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is a very smooth. Um, I tried it at the event. I was pouring this beer along with uh, another one from ABK, which was a, a Munich Helles Lager. Um, that one was a bit lighter in flavor. This one had um, more uh, a stronger malt presence, and um, it had 0.8 percent higher than the other one. And um, it was a nice uh, it was a nice change for the whole event. So that was pretty cool. And um, as as you can see, everyone, I I shaved my beard. It's no longer here. Um, I had an interview today, so I just decided to shave it all off. And um, but it's probably gonna be coming soon. I'll probably already have a, a little a short beard next next week. And um, yeah, this is definitely a summertime beer. Um, it feels kind of hot and stuffy right now, so this is pretty nice. I'm not gonna admit that. Or I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie that I definitely had a, a few sips of this beer while I was, while I was at that event. It was a pretty, pretty warm day. Um, it was pretty cloud. It was cloudy and it was by the sea, but it was still, um, it was. I still felt kind of warm, so just tried some. I took some sips while I, I also walked around, tried some other beers, but I, I would come back to this one and. Um, it's like I said, it's a nice change. So it's not not something you see pretty often. Um, you probably might not see it at any events coming soon, or I don't know if um, I don't know if they were at the event because they're going they're amplifying their they're amping up their uh, distribution. If so, that would be cool. Um, I was told that they have them at Bevmo. Um, I don't. I didn't see them on the website for the Chula Vista location, which is my closest one, but uh, maybe around the county of San Diego or maybe uh, somewhere in California, the Bevmos might have it. Um, that would be pretty cool because apparently here the distributor, they're um, by ROK Imports in South San Francisco. So maybe um, if there's a Bevmo in San Francisco, you might be able to find it there since it's close to the, the company that imports it. Yeah, this um, good. This beer goes really nice with my with my lager glass. It really helped with the with the amount of head. Still has a little bit of just a like half a finger. So, and you still um, I don't know if you can see because it's getting all foggy because of the cold, but there's still a lot of uh, bubbles going up there. Thanks to that etched bird at the bottom, keeping the the beer uh, nice and crisp, lot uh, giving it better carbonation. Um, yeah, this is a it's a good change to usually all the beer that I usually buy. Um, I've been meaning to try a bunch of lagers recently. Uh, mostly I'll try them at beer festivals. Sometimes I'll buy a can or two. I I really don't buy four packs or six packs. I just try once in a while um, just to change it up. And 
I mean, it's 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 cool to to try a a version of a style that's been brewed by microbreweries a lot. So, and keep it craft, keep it true. It's nice that I got a good amount of these, um, especially with the heat coming out. So I'll probably be drinking these on a hot day, or maybe during the World Cup. Even though um, I was planning on drinking one last. Sunday, but it was the uh, Mexico versus Germany, and this is a German beer, so I just thought it was kind of weird if I was gonna drink a a German beer while supporting Mexico. So that would that would have been pretty funny. And um, I think upcoming, I I might be going to Bottle Crafts anniversary. I'm not entirely sure yet. Just to check it out, um, I know that they're gonna have some bottle sales, so. I might or might not go I'm not sure yet and um, and I think that's it for any upcoming beer events I'm gonna go to the courtyard on the 30th and they always have a great uh, tap selection so I'm looking forward to that and um, that's pretty much it for today um, I think I gave this beer a rating of 375 um, I usually don't rank lagers that high especially um, with the lighter ones, I know that I rated the Spring Break Crusher from from Savage Wood around the four four twenty five, mainly because it didn't really feel like a lager. So um, yeah, I think this one I give it around the the what's considered good for a, a lager these days. It's a for me it's a three seventy five. So yeah, I think. Yeah, I'd say 375. It's it's definitely a good beer for its style, but you know, lagers aren't really um, my thing, and I know it's not a lot of people's things, but I like to try them out anyways. But yeah, um, that's it for this week, and then I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.